Hey there, everybody. Welcome to the latest edition of Are We Having Big Brother 22? Are we not having Big Brother 22? Let's all try to figure it out together using the latest bit of information that internet super sleuths have been able to uncover. Yeah, there's a couple of things that we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about production meeting with the unions. We're going to talk about some of the photos that are out there. And we're also going to talk about today's big news that there's a Big Brother mug. <laughs> hey, look, everybody, it's a new logo. It, there's a mug. There's like a mask. There's some other stuff. Okay, this and is, it's been taken down. Yeah. So we're going to talk about that. This, all right, let's have a little bit of real talk. Cause I, I, I'm really, I'm, I'm so excited about the idea of Big Brother. I love Big Brother. I'm really ready for there to be Big Brother. I'm also just exhausted by the oh, here we go again with the next week and a half of trying to like parse out like what's actually true or reliable from what's all nonsense or possible nonsense. It's really just a I know why they're not announcing it, but. Mm -hmm. CBS, come on, we're, we're all suffering here. Let's yeah, get something. For me, I'm happy that they will just don't announce it unless you know it's actually happening. And at this point, I would be surprised if they announced it until after everybody's sequestered, after everybody gets their test results back, everybody's actually clear. Because, you know, I mean, what happens if people are in sequester and then they come back and they're positive? Then it's wham, wham, we're all back to the drawing board again. Like, CBS, don't announce it till you're ready. I'll wait. I will wait for the safety. <laughs> All right, I've got so many thoughts on that, and we're going to get into it. Before we do, if you like this video, give us a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, because yes, no matter when they actually announce or don't announce something, we're going to have more info for you. So we will start with that, then. Okay. What, are, what are your thoughts? So for me, I just think, like, until it's actually safe and they have legitimate test results in their hands that things are A-OK, -okay, I don't know that we're going to hear anything, especially after what we just saw with Big Brother Canada and them having to pull everybody out. That sucked. Yeah. I Okay, I could be wrong about some of this. I will gladly take the L if I am. But I just personally, I don't think they're going to officially announce anything until, number one, everybody is in sequester. Beyond just that, it's like you just said a second ago, I think they want to test everybody because... Let's say, hypothetically, there are 16 people on this season, which I think you and I both probably assume that there is, 16 or 17. Yep. Let's say they pull in 20 people, because let's be honest, there are going to be a few people who they're going to bring in there, and they're going to sell them a bill of goods that they're on All-Stars, but really they're just going to be alternates, and they're going to be getting the shaft at the last second. And, it's probable. Oh boy, can you can you wait for the Instagram post through like the iPhone Notes app talking about how <laughs> they still feel great and trying to like boost their own ego after the fact because that's a coming oh it's coming so that that all is gonna happen but there is that what if of like okay what if you bring in 20 people and there are like five or six positive tests what do you do then because i i, I obviously i hope everybody is okay i don't i'm not wishing anybody contracts the no. virus in any shape or form but the the reality here though is that there have been a lot of people, not just Big Brother, I'm not, I'm not calling out people just that they're Big Brother, but there have been a lot of reality TV people who suddenly feel as though they have invincibility superpowers and have been off partying and doing whatever and flying around to various places. It's just, I want to say that I'm confident that all these people are going to be okay and test negative. It's just that not everybody has been treating this the most responsibly to say the least it's one of the reasons why we're all probably still in this situation and i think we have to anticipate for not just a few bumps in a road but like one of those streets that really needs to be repaired and like the city government's just ignoring it there's a there's potholes all over the place here yeah it's it's interesting. We've all seen it. A lot of younger people think that they're invincible right now. And let's be honest, when we're all young, we all feel that way, that we're just, everything is great and we're going to get through anything because we're young and ridiculous and invincible. And that is not the case in this yeah, situation. Come on. <laughs> I, I think that there will be some bumps coming up. I hope not. Knock on wood. Everybody's safe. Everybody just comes in and tests a okay. No problems. Yeah. But... It just hasn't really shook out like that while this virus is just kind of rampaging. It is it is what it is. So I suspect, personally, 
that they are not going to announce anything until they have all the test results back and they actually know who their cast is because let's say they do have 20 people in sequester and eight of them knock on wood nobody yeah, does eight of yeah. them have it then you're left with a cast of what 12 like then you need to bring in more oh, people hold on i'm getting a scoop right now sources <laughs> in my head are telling me because this is what we all do we're all talking about our sources now sources yeah. within our head are telling me if they have 12 people, they're actually just going to clone Paul four times oh and we're going to have you can like see five out. versions of Paul <laughs> are all going to be on this season. The real test of Big Brother will be if we all make it to the end of this season, we get the money rather than everyone else. I don't, I don't know why I'm bashing Paul so much. And Paul, I mean, I'm not the biggest Paul fan from 19, but we'll see. We'll see if Paul is actually on the season or not. He can take a joke. But okay, so let's... <laughs> Let's get into the the merchandise gate that is now causing the internet to flip upside down. Okay, so CBS has put up and pulled down a bunch of like masks and bowls and mugs and all this stuff, all this merch they put up yeah. that says All Stars on it. So now they've taken it down. So yeah. that has made a lot of people out there feel like 100% they just announced it. So... I'm here to pour some cold water. Let's let's on put that. the if we had a record scratch sound effect, this is where it would be added in. Okay, and and I know that I'm the person on YouTube that's pouring the cold water on everything. But listen, this same thing happened like a few months ago with Mass Singer, and I totally ended up having I was on board. I I ended up taking an L with everybody else on it. They did the exact same thing. So they were still in the middle of their season. They put up a T-shirt that had the two winners from the previous seasons. And before this season was over, they also had the frog on there. I'm like, oh, somebody's getting fired over there. The yeah. intern just told us that the frog is winning and everybody was on board with that. They took it down right away. We're like, meh, we already know who's winning. And of course the Night Angel won spoilers for everyone who hasn't seen it, but you know. Whatever, it's are. months it's, ago. It's months ago. So. 85 percent i'm feeling like yeah they probably were getting together some all-stars merch and yeah we're probably getting all-stars probably maybe who knows they could change their mind tomorrow and be like yeah we want to do something else because originally this season they were looking at bringing in new people so things are changing right yeah I think that there is the possibility, and this is just me because I already fell for this <laughs> with the mass Singer. I am not falling for this again. Like, this is not confirmation to me that the frog won, and it is not confirmation to me that it is for sure Big Brother All-Stars. I feel pretty confident but it's not 100%. This isn't confirmation. This is confirmation that somebody messed up. <laughs> this is what happened. Okay, so I'm going to be I'm be network executive man here for a minute. Yeah. Uh, we need some merch. We got to get some merch on the site. So, um, yeah, okay, you're going to do this All-Stars thing. Get, get me the logo together. Put it on the site. Like, somebody has... They've paid someone <laughs> to make a new logo. Absolutely. They have paid somebody to put it on the website. They did not probably pay them to actually have it on the website yet. I think that's a pretty big screw up. Do do I think it is going to be all stars? Yes. Do I believe that this is probably the logo? Yes. Yes. Does me believing this mean a hundred percent of anything? No. Is there a good chance that I will fall on my face? Yes. Have we been through this nonsense already with Dan Geesling? Yes. Like, let's not get crazy about the logo. It probably means something. It may not mean anything other than that. Like you said, CBS's people screwed something up and they put it up before they even know for sure there's a season because we're all at mercy of the virus. It is going to make the call. It is not CBS. It is not the producers. It is what are the cases looking like in California? Let's be realistic here. Yeah, it is it is really about that. And now we're going to get to the idea that there has been some talks with production and the unions. And it seems that they have reached some sort of agreement of if the season happens, yeah. how it could work and how it could work safely. That, to me, is the biggest step forward towards actually having a season that there's there is a plan in place that 
could actually make this happen and make it happen safely where they don't end up having to pull the whole season in the middle of the season because they didn't take the right steps. It's a step forward. Is that confirmation that it's happening tomorrow and everyone's going to sequester tomorrow? No, it's not. This is the thing I find the most encouraging because honestly, I could care less what the logo is. I I, I could even care less if it's All-Stars to a certain extent because they may call it All-Stars and they may cart in there a bunch of like no names from like seasons ago. They could yeah. be the entire cast of Big Brother 9 for all we know and they could just call it All-Stars. Why you gotta put that out Yeah, there? Big Brother 9 is not happening in 2020. I think we can all say that with confidence, but I do think that it is encouraging that they're talking with production and it seems like there could be something in the works to make it so that it's possible it's reasonably safe for the crew but i think we all we need to not have the assumption that okay cbs they're gonna work out some sort of deal with the governor of california and i've, I've I, i'm pretty sure i have said this in some delusional frenzy over the past week or so because you get in these stages of denial I'm pretty sure I've gone through a. Oh, they're gonna talk. They're gonna call up Gavin Newsom and be like, "Okay, you know, we're, we've got this plan. You don't need to shut us down. We're 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 okay. We're more essential than anything else in the state of California. Yeah. Keep Big Brother. Yeah, because Gavin cares about Big Brother. So yeah, I was on the cold water side as yeah. I usually am. I hear Gavin theory. is a big Faute fan actually. <laughs> so uh, he he loved it when Bessie broke the sink. Listen. <laughs> so that is the biggest roadblock that's going to be possibly coming up is yeah it's great that the unions have talked to production and production has talked to unions and they've come to an agreement of how to go forward safely that is awesome that is a big like encouragement but yes gavin could come and pour some cold water all over everything and be like you know big brother's not essential so shut this down yeah and that could happen. So that's really, we're still stuck in this same yeah. thing where Gavin holds the key to Big Brother House. It, the, the, the truth of it is, is that this season could start and then it could end. We could have Big Brother Canada. Yeah. All, like that's always, that's gotta be a fee. That's gotta be something we have in the back of our minds. I mean, granted when the season starts, hopefully it is so good and it better be good after being put through all this nonsense rumors for like the past month or so, but Hopefully that'll just sort of distract us from some of this, but I, I, I do have a small rant I have to have at this point now that we're 12 minutes into this video. All right, let's have it. <sighs> Former Big Brother players. Here we go. <laughs> I, I understand that you are so excited about the idea that this is your chance to get a lot of Instagram likes that you haven't been getting for the past few months. Not all of you are taking a social media break at the same time. Not all of you are getting onto a plane. Not all of you are going to the, the, the grease thing has been done. It's not a that's not original anymore. There is not going to be 50 people on Big Brother 22 and I, I I feel pretty confident that by the end of this week there's going to be at least 60 people who are all claiming that they're taking some sort of I, stop your trolling at this point honestly. I care who's on the season but I don't care about the casting rumors anymore just because I have no patience for them at this point. Yeah, I feel really burnt out with the casting rumors. There has been rumors and confirmation that Dan is on and Derek is on and everyone's in sequester and here we are. No one was in sequester. Yeah. Like the the trolling online, I think a lot of us just are burnt out from it because nobody seems to really know anything and that's kind of where we all are. So the trolling was fun and funny at the beginning like a month ago and now it's like a month later and we're like all right yeah you're at the lake cabin good for you oh yeah you're in sequester nobody's nobody believes you anymore it's not as fun come to me when you've got a non-photoshopped picture of Derek having a conversation with Allison Grodner with a newspaper that holds up showing <laughs> what day it is like come to me when there's actual legitimate proof that someone is a part of this season because I the, the, there was one one today that was especially funny, which was the oh one of the I think you pointed this out to me the one of the merchandise things online was a key that has Catherine's name on it. <laughs> 
Cat is on the season, everyone. It has been officially confirmed. Yeah, I have seen that people are saying that. And I mean, it even said on the merchandise that it's like, put your own name on here. So it's just an example. But yeah, people, we're all hungry, man. Like, we're thirsty for information. We are willing to believe anything. I believe that nonsense with Mass Singer. Here I am actually 85% in being like, oh man, we're going down this road again. What if that key had said Raven on it? Would we all be, the real puppet master is coming back into the game. Bark, I, bark, woof, woof, everyone. I think that would have been probably a better person to put on because then we would have all known or make it be Allison or Robin or something like that, that we all know who it actually is. It's just an example, this, guys. It's not Cat. It is. This is all where we are. We're probably still going to be here for a few more days. Everyone is about to claim that they all have information that is big and explosive and exciting. Yeah, and I mean, we've even seen pictures online of the house. There's been tons of pictures online. No pictures of actual people around it that I've seen. Just sort of like backyards, the the sound stage, like all of that. But I mean, it it also doesn't really show anything. I need a picture I need something concrete. of Alison Grodner outside that studio That's holding right. up the newspaper. This You remember last summer where they had the uh, Tommy and Christy know each other on the loudspeaker overnight and yep. I was doing the trying to see if I could line up the moon with the moon on like the leaked oh, videos of like the people that. placing it. So yes. like I need that level proof before I start to buy into any of this other stuff. But don't get don't get us wrong. We're we're really excited about the idea of Big Brother and rest assured, the moment we actually know the cast, we will come on here and we will rant and rave and possibly complain about their choices until the cows come home. I am still living on Delusion Island right now where we're gonna have Big Brother 22 rolling into September, October, November. It's gonna be on five days a week because CBS is gonna have nothing else. <laughs> I'm still partially rolling into the delusion that we're going to have Justin from Big Brother over the top on here. That is like, there's the one, this is a good question for all of you guys. What is the one terrible Big Brother take that you refuse to acknowledge is terrible? Like mine is that they're going to bring Justin back for another season. Mine is that we're going to have Big Brother five times a week, September, October, November, but I don't think that's terrible. I'm living on that island and I think everybody wants to see that with me. Yeah, I think yours is that, but it's so probably... So I am in Delusion Island. My delusion's probably still better than mine. Also, Shelby from Big Brother Over the Top, you can come back too. But okay, well, I think we've covered everything that there is to like, actually cover here. Yeah, everything that kind of has a little bit of semblance of possible truth, like seeing some pictures, like the merch going up and coming down, the, the production talk. I mean, there's little bits of truth here. So come on, let's just... Let's, let's have it go forward. Gavin, you're the last person here. Just give Big Brother the keys to the house. What if, because in Brett and cybersecurity or something, what if Brett hacked CBS and he put all the logos and stuff on there because Brett is bitter that he did not get asked back? We don't know. Who knows? It's anything is possible <laughs> at this point. All right, well, give us all your thoughts, your comments below. And if you like this video, give us a like, subscribe. Also, if you want to support us more, check that link in the description to the store, and we'll see you guys here next time.